In this video, we're going to look at solving the equation, the square root of 2x plus 1 minus the square root of x equals 1. As we do, there'll be a couple things we need to be aware of. First, because there are even index in the original problem, we will want to make sure we check our solution when we get done. The second thing we need to be aware of is when solving, we can only address one radical at a time. So we need to get one of the square roots completely alone before we can get rid of any radicals. In this case, it'll be easy to get the first square root alone simply by adding the square root of x to both sides. This gives us the square root of 2x plus 1 is equal to the square root of x plus 1. Now, at this point, we can clear the 1 radical by squaring both sides. As we do on the left side, the squared gets rid of the square root, leaving us with 2x plus 1 equals... On the other side, because we're squaring a binomial, we must remember there's three parts to our result. First, we square the first term. The square root squared is just x. And then we multiply them together twice. 1 root x plus 1 root x is 2 root x. And then finally, we square the last term. 1 squared is 1. Now we can solve the resulting equation, which we notice still has a radical in it. So let's repeat and get that radical alone by subtracting 1 and subtracting x from both sides. This leaves us with x plus 1 minus 1 is 0, equals 2 root x. Then, divide both sides by 2 to get the square root of x is equal to x over 2. Again, we can clear the square root by squaring both sides. x squared over 2 squared is 4, equals x. I'm running out of room, so let's scroll down a little bit. Let's clear that fraction by multiplying both sides by 4. Gives us x squared equals 4x. And again, because we have an x squared in the problem, we need to get the equation equal to 0 by subtracting 4x. This gives us x squared minus 4x equals 0. And then we can solve by factoring by taking out a GCF of x, x times x minus 4 equals 0. Set each factor equal to 0, x equals 0, x minus 4 equals 0. Solve the second by adding 4 to both sides, and we get our second answer of x equals 4. And so we have two possible answers, 0 and 4, but of course we need to go back to the original problem and check to make sure those work for x. Let's start with the 0. The square root of 2 times 0 plus 1 minus the square root of 0 equals 1. Well, 2 times 0 is 0, so we have the square root of 1 minus the square root of 0. Hopefully, that equals 1. And sure enough, 1... whoops, getting to move too fast. 1 minus 0 is 1. It does check out, so that answer works. The other answer we have, scrolling back to the bottom, was 4. So let's plug 4 in for both of our x's. The square root of 2 times 4 plus 1 minus the square root of 4. Hopefully, that equals 1. Well, 2 times 4 is 8 plus 1 minus the square root of 4. Hopefully, that's 1. The square root of 9 minus the square root of 4. Hopefully, this equals 1, and the square root of 9 is 3, minus the square root of 4 is 2, and sure enough, 3 minus 2 equals 1. So in this case, no extraneous solution, both 0 and 4 work for our final solution. Again, to solve this equation, we knew because of the even exponent, we would have to check our work. We got one radical alone and squared both sides, get the other radical alone, and square both sides.